Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.18.1.0. This update actually came out on a Monday, of all things. We had basically just gotten the Hawaii update three days ago, if my math is... Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday... I suppose kind of four days ago at the- well, no, it was Friday night. So three days ago is when we got Hawaii, and this update has just come out to fix a lot of things about Hawaii. I mean, the fixes list, I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. There is a lot and a lot of stuff. They have been working hard to fix all the things that you guys have reported, but also in this update, we got some new vehicles added to the game. Three of them to be exact. They are right in front of me right now. We have two new boats right there, both Coast Guard, and then we also have this new vehicle right here, the Scrounger, which is based off the Argo Amphibious vehicle. We will get into that vehicle right there, but first let's check out these two new vehicles here. These are both Coast Guard. This one right here is called the Skipper. This is just a little dinghy, but as you can see on the front there, it has a gunner. A lot of these Coast Guard vehicles are very militarized, so these do have fancy guns on them. So this is not just a regular dinghy. I think we actually have a dinghy in Unturned. I think it's just called a dinghy. Uh, and this is kind of the upgraded version of that, the Coast Guard Skipper. Now it has two seats, I'm in the driver's seat currently, but when you swap to F2, you are now in the gunner, just sitting out front and using HMG boxes, you can shoot at stuff, like palm trees, I suppose. <laughs> that is awesome. And there it goes. Very, very cool. Now, HMG boxes are the same things that are used in the Hind, so it is kind of cool to see it being used on all sorts of other vehicles, so that HMG box is going to be even more sought after, uh, considering that it can be used in several vehicles. So it can be used in this, and then it can also be used in the other Coast Guard gunboat that we had uh, when Hawaii originally came out. So anyway, that's a skipper. Now this is the upgraded version right here, the War Machine. Check this thing out. Now this is basically that skipper, but on steroids. As you can see, the gun on the front of this one is massive. It is way bigger than the other one, and that is because this one doesn't use HMG boxes, it uses missiles. So basically what this warbow is, it's a tank for the water. It's so cool. It's a it's a water tank is what this is. I don't think there are any other vehicles in the game other than a tank, of course, that use a missile. All right. So, if I if I'm correct with my placement. Yeah, a little too low. There goes there goes my one and only missile. It has been a while since I've used a tank. They're just so rare. I don't really have the opportunity to use them all that much. Uh, now this one does have three seats. There's a passenger. Well, I guess F2 is to get into the gunner seat, and then F3 is the passenger seat. I think those could be swapped around. This should be the F2, and then the gunner should be F3. But that's my opinion. Uh, regardless, those are the only seats in there. Um, and when you are in the gunner seat, you're actually inside this kind of closed area, so you're even more protected than you are in a tank when you are using this uh, this little gun thing here. You can look this far to the right, I mean otherwise you start clipping into that thing to the right, and it's the same case on the left side here. You can't do a full 180, you cannot shoot your driver. Now those are the two new water vehicles, the new Coast Guard war machine, the, just the two new boats of mass destruction. Those are awesome. Now a little bit of a turn of events, something that's more casual, and actually Probably going to be one of my most favorite vehicles here. Very, very small. This is the Scrounger. Now, this is blue, but it also comes in all kinds of different colors here. Oh, zombie's going to come up to me. Anyway, this is basically like a an APC, but more common. I mean, an APC does allow you to fit like eight people in there. So I, I guess, you know, that that's what an APC has over it. And then it also protects their drivers. But it has a bunch of wheels on it that are indestructible. So you can run over spike trips and things like that. People can't shoot your tires off. Um, but what you can do is you can also go in the water here. As the name says, it is perfect for scrounging around. It has a slot in the back that, you know, I'm sure you're looking at that and you can see what perfectly fits inside there, especially when you consider the scrounger name like so. And you can even stack another on top, like that, there you go. And now you can start going around 
and scrounging for loot. Whether it's on water or on land, you can use this vehicle to uh, effectively find loot in store and uh, it's pretty cool. It is only one seat though, that is a pretty big disadvantage, but I think the advantage of being able to go on water uh, just effortlessly, just like you can with an APC, is extremely useful, especially considering how much stuff there is out here. So that's a scrounger. Those are all three of the new vehicles that were added this week, and there was a new item. I suppose this would also be considered a vehicle, but it is an item in regards to, like, you find it in item loot spawns. It doesn't spawn out there as a vehicle. It is a hang glider. These are super cool. Now, currently, Games messaged me immediately after the uh, update was issued telling me that these are going to be overhauled very very soon as of now they are they are a little lame that's kind of what he said to me as of now these are kind of a placeholder until a, a more official version can be implemented but here are the hang gliders they come in all sorts of different colors they're basically just upgraded versions of umbrellas now they kind of look you know like look at how huge this thing is uh, they look pretty fantastic for flying super long distances it, and that's of course what you can do with an umbrella but as you can see you can still like go backwards with this hang glider and that is what is going to be changed but the difference with the hang glider as compared to an umbrella is that you can travel further distances it doesn't fall as fast and you also have faster forward momentum here so I could probably make it I don't know let's see uh, right about to this pebble right here now we're gonna try out an umbrella all right so I have an umbrella here and you'll see that I won't go nearly as far like I I just barely made it past this boat here. So once again, as of now, these are basically just uh, fantastic versions of umbrellas to allow you to, to glide even further. But in the future, the way these will work is you will jump and then it will start automatically making you move forward. And at that point, you can only press A and D to steer left and right or, of course, look around. So that's how the hang gliders are eventually going to be. But as of now, this is kind of what they are. Um, even then, I, I still think that these are super cool that... Uh, they're basically like fancy versions of an umbrella. If you want to spawn these, they're 1800 and beyond. Supposedly, they spawn over here by the Haikyuu stairs. So, if you're looking for them, start there. Now, a pretty highly requested change for Hawaii was to overhaul the volcano. A lot of people kind of generally agreed that the volcano was a little lame, to be honest, especially considering that it's it's like the center of Hawaii. I mean, everybody knows Hawaii for the volcano, and yet you go up there and it's just kind of a, a pool of lava. All right, I'm going to be honest, I have already checked out this place, but I can tell you... It is pretty cool from what I've seen so far. Immediately you can tell that there are some new buildings up here. So this whole place has been generally made larger and just more interesting. And also gives you quite a bit more reason to actually go up here. So instead of it being just a regular walkway that leads up to the tiny little pool of lava over there. Uh, you now have the option of, of going in this direction over to this building here. Which is in fact... Scorpion 7. Now there is a Scorpion 7 on Hawaii. Very cool. Um, I mean, I suppose this isn't it like it doesn't have the Scorpion 7 logo right here. All right. And then up here, you'll notice that uh, this whole place just generally got much bigger. Look at all this. This is insane. Now it gets even cooler once you once you get over there. I'll show you guys that. But uh, to start, each of these kind of intersections of these catwalks all have uh, loot spawns here. So you can find uh, science-y, research -y stuff over here is really cool. There is kind of a mini lava waterfall over here that's super cool. Look at that. On both sides as well. And there are item spawns here. That looks like a filter. See, now that is pretty useful. I need to pick that up. Now filters do spawn because in this update a dead zone was added. Oh no, do I have no way back? <gasps> oh shoot. Oh no! Oh my gosh! I have not considered this! <laughs> oh no! Do -do -do. Aha! Alright, now that I have this filter here, onwards to the topic of the new dead zone that was added into Hawaii. Now another common suggestion by you guys was that Hawaii sort of lacked the definitive loot progression that Russia had. I mean, in, here in Hawaii you basically just have civilian spawns and then you have the military base where you can find anything from a P90 to a Grizzly. And so as a result, the Coast Guard HQ kind of became the hotspot and it became impossible to raid. It was constantly, there was, you just died whenever you went there in a PvP server. Um, and kind of a solution to that would be to add a very high-end loot spawn that would be worth checking out. 
Uh, and that's what was added this week. Now the Elani, which some of you guys may know as the uh, battleship, has been swapped from off the coast of Alika onwards over to the left side over here, and it is now a dead zone, only accessible with a helicopter. So you have to land a helicopter here. I'm now within a dead. Oh shoot! I forgot. Oh. Oh, put on. Where's my? Where's my? Where's my mask? Where's my mask? Oh no! Anyway, it's only accessible via helicopter. Those ladders on the rear have been removed, and this giant battleship has been placed right next to this cargo ship, uh, so that there is more room for loot spawns here. Now, I haven't actually been on here before. I would assume that because this is a dead zone, it's going to contain super loot, as it should. So we have a saber tooth, an avenger, grenades, more grenades. Yeah, so it looks like. This is basically just regular military spawns. I mean, we do have a Peacemaker here, and then we had two Avengers and a Sabretooth. I mean, there were a lot of grenades up here. Well, these are a lot of S, so those are pretty useful, as well as this ammunition crate. The loot isn't as crazy as I had expected it to be. So that is something that can be tweaked, I'd say. But uh, anyway, that's the dead zone as it currently stands. I think my personal opinion is definitely it could be... Uh, opt in regards to the loot here, but I definitely see where they're going with this. Now originally the Elani was just off the coast of the Alika military base here, so those are basically the two uh, military oriented spawns aside from Moa and Achaia here. Uh, it caused a big cluster here of a lot of people kind of taking over those locations there. Uh, by swapping it over to the left side it is going to help distribute the loot across the top end here. Just like Russia, and I think this is a huge aspect that Russia got right, uh, was this sort of tiered loot progression as you went from the bottom to the top here. So down at the bottom we have the Kailani resorts, things, a bunch of resorts and farms and things like that, so these aren't going to be very sought after spawns. These are probably going to be where you build your base. Um, and then in the middle here are kind of your mid-tier stuff. This is where you come across cities like Kailua Kona, Pahala, things like that. You're going to find that in the middle here. Uh, and then as you go up to the top half of the map, that is where you find your good loot. This is where you got to gear up and head up there. Uh, it's going to be a little dangerous up here. You have the top of the volcano with Mauna Kea, uh, the Alika military base, the harbor here with the research facility, things like that. Those are all up here. So this is your danger zone. Uh, and that's that's super cool. I, I do like seeing it all distribute out here. Uh, things are looking really great for Hawaii. Keep those suggestions coming. I forgot to mention in last week's update video, uh, Hawaii is very much in beta. They are definitely looking forward to changing things in Hawaii based on your guys' suggestions. It's not just like simple fixes like, you know, uh, maybe a, a desk was floating and they're going to fix that. They are totally open to completely overhauling aspects of the map, uh, you know, like making the volcano... Uh, a completely different location or swapping the Elani to the other side of the map, things like that, they're totally open to doing. So if you have any suggestions for Hawaii, throw them down, down below. Um, they they are definitely open to anything and everything. But anyway, that was everything that was added in Unturn 3.18.1.0. It's awesome to see things changed, especially so quickly here in Hawaii for the better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.